Gemini. This will happen in the next 48 hours for March the 17th through March the 18th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for March the 17th through March the 18th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for March the 17th through March the 18th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for March the 17th through March the 18th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Gemini. Gemini, you have uh, uh, the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Gemini, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now, you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Gemini. Clarify the three of swords for Gemini. Clarify the three of swords for Gemini. It is clarified. What? You hurt him. Gemini, you have the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with. Clarify the emperor for Gemini. Clarify the emperor for Gemini. Clarify the emperor for Gemini. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Gemini. Clarify death for Gemini. Clarify death for Gemini. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Gemini. Clarify the sun. For Gemini, clarify the sun. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you, or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. 
So Gemini, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Gemini, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. You can tell me that things ended between you guys because it was illuminated that they were out being a player getting cookies somewhere with a third party. You can tell me because something was illuminated, there was a rushing and going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument, and things ended between you guys. And it could have also said something to hurt your feelings. They said something and did something with a third party. They said something to you to hurt your feelings, and they did something to hurt your feelings. And you can tell me that you're blocking them. However, you can tell me that there was an argument and they blocked you and that's why your feelings are hurt because they also have a third party, but they blocked you. They also had a third party, but they also had said some choice words to you. Gemini, you have the eight of swords again. Like I said, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or this is blocked communication. Clarify the eight of swords for Gemini. Clarify the eight of swords. For Gemini, clarify the Eight of Swords. For Gemini, it is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' is relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Gemini could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Gemini. Clarify the devil for Gemini, clarify the devil, for Gemini, it is clarified with the Nine of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, this is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse, so listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're getting your wish, could be feeling smug here, or overindulging, trying to numb out, you can tell me that you're blocking this toxic person. You're blocking them because they're very toxic. And you can tell me that you're feeling smug about blocking them. You could also tell me that they blocked you. And this is a, a stuck binding situation. And maybe you're overindulging trying to numb out. Because I feel like you're dealing with some maybe narcissist here. They hurt you in so many ways counting the ways you have the hermit could be dealing with a virgo but right now you're taking some time out to be alone to do some soul searching introspection searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance going within looking for answers could be dealing with a virgo but you can tell me that hey i just need some me time you can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something clarify the hermit for Gemini, clarify the hermit. For Gemini, clarify the hermit. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. 
Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Gemini. Clarify the Hierophant for Gemini. Clarify the Hierophant for Gemini. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Gemini, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Gemini. Clarify the high priestess for Gemini. Clarify the high priestess for Gemini. It is clarified with the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clear for the Queen of Wands for Gemini. Clear for the Queen of Wands for Gemini. Clear for the Queen of Wands for Gemini. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. Mm. Gemini, you're telling me that you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation. However, in tarot, 10s are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Now, I hope you're not over here pondering and using your intuition on whether you should forgive this person after they betrayed you. Because that's what it looks like. You could also tell me that you're thinking about taking action to maybe seek some type of counseling for this betrayal and this heartbreak and this pain. And when I say counseling, yes, it can be someone professional, but it could also be, you know, your auntie, your, your grandmother, your mother, someone that you want to confide in. Someone that you just need to get it off your chest. Hmm. You have the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys as a relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Gemini, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Gemini. It is clarified with the six of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance. But this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Gemini, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be out balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here. Or you're telling me that someone was giving more, someone else giving to two. Now listen, I hope you're not over here waiting, seeing whether or not they're going to come bring balance or give to this relationship. Because it's really not up to them. They hurt you. 
You could also tell me because they were giving more somewhere else giving to two, you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. You're thinking about whether or not you should forgive them for this betrayal. Oh, Gemini. I never seen so much hurt on the board. Hmm. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Gemini. This is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Gemini. And it says, children, young, childhood, playful. Children, young, childhood, playful. I ain't what else for Gemini? What else for Gemini? And it says entrapment, pregnancy, money, heartstrings. Entrapment, pregnancy, money, heartstrings. Be careful. Don't get trapped. Don't get trapped. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Gemini, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for March the 17th through March the 18th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.